I found out what that problem is in the last mini video that of that air leak I was talking about so I've just pulled the front end back like the radiators and the air, AC radiator and that uh, to get to the the charge pipe here that goes up to the throttle body and uh, we found this so that's the gasket that goes to the engine um, it is meant to be green so this is not this is not a genuine part so I think that's probably what the problem is and I think when it was getting fitted it must have pinched and then split and that was what was causing the problem so yeah we've managed to do that so I'll order another one of these I'll probably just leave that like that because um, I want to tackle uh, under seal in the passenger side so we can crack on with that I've got the drill out charging the batteries I've got a wire brush so we'll start wire brushing the the passenger side uh, like the process and that and I've got some rust treatment I did do the driver's side so the driver's side's all done and it come out really nice so all the rust has been stopped um, taken back to bare metal and then I put some rust treatment on there you know when the rust treatment's working because it does go purple black so but I'll show you on the passenger side um, so yeah let's crack on and get on with that right yeah so I've pulled out all the undershield obviously in the last video and then you've got like these little rust spots here um, here here a little bit there so what I do is I've got the drill with the wire brush got the drill with the wire brush so we're gonna wire brush all this back to bare metal these like to rust too so I'll probably just give them a go and then put some rust treatment on there put a layer of primer and then we're under seal it and it should come out a lot a lot better the other side come out pretty decent it was worse than this so let's just crack on with that Right, so yeah, we finished up just getting away all the little rust spots and that down to bare metal. This, I don't have a clue, it looks like a, a weld. It's pretty strong. I've tried putting the screwdriver for it, but it just won't. So, I'll whack some of the rust stuff on there as well. We've got this bit here. I did go up a bit further than what I wanted, but um, there's a bit of rust there anyway, so I may as well just mask from there and then just paint the old thing with underseal. Um, there's not really no rust here. Here, I just gotta take that off, undo that, and then just put that down a bit, mask it up. But what we do now is, um, I'll get the rust stuff out that stops the rust, kills the rust. We'll let that sit on there for an hour, and then, um, then we can prime. And then we'll be able to underseal after that. But yeah, let me show you the let me show you guys the rust stuff I've got. I did do some research. I did say it's one of the best ones. So, and it's pretty straightforward to use. Um, so yeah, let me go grab that quick. Yeah, so this is the rust stuff I've got. Basically, all you do is, it's just a liquid. You get a paintbrush, uh, dip it in, and then you just go over the, sort of the rust spots and that. And then it takes, so it says it's three hours but with the nice weather I reckon the other side was done within an hour so we'll whack that on and then uh, you'll see it, it it changes sort of black to purple so yeah we'll get that done patch up all the little rust bits and then it shouldn't it should protect it for the future and then we'll just whack some primer on there and then scotch up the rest scotch up the whole wheel arch I'll probably drop the strut 
drop that down and then um yeah then it should all be sweet i'll probably have to prep up there a little bit uh and then put some rust stuff up there because it does like to rust under the top mounts and then yeah we'll be ready to whack some primer on it let the primer go off um and then yeah we're under seal it mask up the bits we need to mask up and then uh yeah it should look like the other side and then i ain't got to worry about under the wheel arches for the future so yeah i'm happy with that so yeah let's crack on with that and then um put your lot in a time lapse whilst i lay this stuff and uh yeah i'll check back with you lot after i've done it all and then i'll show you it curing Down mode, it's pretty annoying. So when you turn it off, it stays on for a bit. This <laughs> takes ages. There we go. Right. So yeah, look, I've put the rust killer on, so it goes sort of a purpley colour. That's when you know it works. If you do use it and it doesn't go purple the first try or black, you've got to do it again. That's sort of on the instructions. So yeah, that's all done, all there. So what I do is, I'm gonna probably, I'll drop the, the shot canal, um, undo the bolts on the top, that should drop down a bit. Then I'll be able to get up there a little bit. Um, and then we'll scotch it all up. And then um, give it a quick wipe over, and then we'll primer it, and then let that dry. I use the heat gun to stir make it dry a bit quicker and then we should be able to it's getting it's getting late it's about half six so we should be able to underseal it today we've dropped the strut now it would be ideal to get the shock out to completely honest just take the whole thing out but i think that would be a massive pain in the ass because they are quite rusty and i reckon that uh, they'd be like seized in there so i might as well wait to take uh, to, to, when I take them out to do the coilovers, I don't really want to be doing it twice. So yeah, we've got that out. So I'll just prep that up there. Um, don't look that bad up there, but might as well just do it so we can spray some underseal up there. And so we just primed it a bit, only little bits. I started taping up stuff like this, a little bit there. I got a bit of cardboard that I could block everything off, so. I'm not too bothered. The shock I'm not bothered about because we'll be getting coilovers. This in the end I want to get powder coated so I'm not really bothered with the stuff here. Um, drive shaft's leaking anyway, the CV boots, so that's going to need new boots, I'm not too bothered about that. So yeah, i just got to mask the top of the strut so it don't come through into the engine bay. And then um, we'll give it a first coat of um, underseal. I ended up taking out the other washer bottle so that's out now. So that's the first coat done, as you can see, it looks a hundred times better. So yeah, we'll let that dry for a little while. And we'll give it one more coat and then uh, just leave it to dry for a couple of days. I could just leave it to dry till tomorrow, but I'm not going to be here tomorrow, so I might as well just leave it apart, come back in a couple of days, and then just put it all back together. And then, yeah, it should look really good. But we've done the other side already. I've done that the other day. So that's all that side done. Shock's back up in there. I just got to put the uh, drop link back on. Uh, put the cables back. Uh, yeah, but I think I may do this bit because I didn't do it on this side, but that side I did. So to match, I think I will just clean this up, give that a coat of it, under seal, and then it will all match. All right, guys. So yeah, I just done just done that little bit. Of what I said I'd do. Just here, so I masked it all up. So I get a nice straight line on that. 
So that's all done. I've done one more coat on this side. So that's all done now. So what I'll probably do is let this side dry for a couple days. Then uh, I'll probably save this video from today and then edit in a couple days for when I'm putting it back together and that. So it makes a longer video. But yeah, I, did, I don't know if I spoke about it. We ended up finding the problem to this, to the air leak, which was the gasket down there. I'm pretty sure I spoke about that earlier though. So yeah, I'm just gonna start, I just put the strut back in this side. Just need to put the drop link back in. And then, um, yeah, then the wheel can go back on there. And then uh, we can get it down to getting the clutch done. Yeah, so what's going on everyone? So we're back. So that part, the part I ordered for that gasket for the for the um, charge pipe that goes to the throttle body, we've got that now. It feels much better, better quality. To be honest, it feels a bit thicker. So it just shows how rubbish that other one is. Um, so what we do is we fit that, uh, put all the front end back together because we took all the crash support off and all that. This should all be dry now, yep, so we'll put all that back together. Um, I've got a few other bits as well, which we can talk about in a second, so I'll go grab them. Right, yeah, so we've got a box of goodies here. So basically this is everything to get them in here, so we've got a spare um, tensioner. That's off a low mileage car, I don't really need it, but it's worth just having. But yeah, we've got two new uh, anti-roll bar drop links. So we've got two brand new ones of them. The ones on that are pretty knackered. We've got a fuel filter, which it's pretty common for them to be really clogged up on these. We've got two new um, top mounts, which I may just keep them to the side until we fit coilovers. You got the plates these go underneath the struts because they do like to mushroom apparently they like to mushroom so that it pushes it through and then they start bubbling mine are perfect at the minute so i managed to get some of these they strengthen underneath the strut and then the main part that we've got now so we've got a brand new clutch to be able to fix the main problem with the car and then that's just the this is just the the main sill when we do the clutch as well so we've got that as well so that's everything we need to do the clutch now and then we've got the strength from the plates I managed to get a set of these as well because they're in a lot better condition than mine Mine are absolutely rusty and all here. These are actually pretty decent. They're slightly bit of rust, so I may just wire brush them back and just give them a coat of paint, but it's better than wire brushing them. And that's just one side, the other side's even worse than that. So what we'll do is we'll crack on, fit that gasket, start putting everything back together. I may put the anti-roll bar drop links in as well. Uh, put the strengthening plates in and then jack up the from the lower arm and then put the struts back in with the strengthening plates and then uh, start it up touch wood um, there's no air leak now and it should all be sweet so yeah let's crack on with that box back in, throttle body back on, uh, the bar pass valve pipe all tightened up. I just put the the crash support on there, start bowing it up. It's pretty straightforward from there. So right, I'm 
my battery died on the GoPro, I just whacked it on charge. But it's got that beam in. So I'm just going to tighten it up. Put this side in. Look how rusty that subframe is. It looks horrible. But I may just get a second hand one and then just get it powder coated off and it'll look nice. But look, the CV boot this side's gone. CV boot that side's gone. But I've got two new ones coming. Well, I need, yeah, two, two inners. So I need two inner seals. And then I'll probably do that when I do the clutch because I'm going to have to drop the drive shafts anyway to be able to drop the gearbox. Right, so <coughs> I'll just have something to eat. But yeah, right, so we've got everything back in now. So we've got all the intake, we've got the front panel on. Um, I was just midway doing this, but the battery on the GoPro died because you'd have seen it in a previous video. But we've got the arms in, gave them a lick of paint, sanding them back, so that's a lot better. <coughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to put the, the washer bottles in. I may leave the bumper off. Um, just so I've got a bit of room to start sorting some little bits out underneath. We finished up this. So the washers, the washer bottles are all in. This side. This side. Um, I might put the top. The plates. I'll show you the plates actually. So these are the plates. They sort of go. So what side's this for? Probably that side, yeah, so basically they don't sit there, they sit underneath. We try and whack them on, I'm going to need the jack to jack the lower arm up, so I'll grab that. We'll whack them on, and then to be honest, I think that'll probably be it for today. It's getting dark, it's nearly 7 o'clock, so it's getting a bit dark, but yeah. But what do you guys think? I think taping off the carbon uh, sort of badge, and then getting this painted red, keeping this black keep them black keep that black keep that black and then that like a red um, to match the calipers obviously the calipers are get redone and then that's what I'm thinking just that red I don't want nothing else red just that but yeah let me know in the comments because I think it would probably look pretty nice but it's plastic so it'd have to be proper sanded and then plastic primer and, and all that so but if I do that, I might as well just bloody um, put a new rocker cover gasket in there so I know it's all done. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I think it'd look pretty decent, but yeah. Right, yeah, so that's all completed now. So, so we managed to put the old front end on undersealed this side obviously that was the other day we undersealed it and that we've put it all back together um, we put the strap from the plates in I'll put that drop link on I'll probably leave the drop links in all honesty because I want to put coilovers on so it's pointless wasting it I might as well keep them um, so it's all fresh so I've got brand new top mounts brand new drop links uh, I've got the poly bushes for the arms so once the coil over is gone it's gonna feel like a brand new motor um, yeah so that's all this side it's all buttoned up we painted them as well so yeah um, what we do is then before I end this video we'll um, get the jump leads they're already connected we'll connect them up to the golf bar and then um, we'll start this up, see what it sounds like now. So I'll set you lot up here, and then, yeah, we'll sort it out. Yeah, so she's, there's no more air leak. Sounds absolutely perfect now. I'd probably say that has fixed it, but I can't get over the sound of the supercharger. You know, I've, I've got the turbo noise in the R, but this is just. <laughs> 